Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about two important parameters called PCT free and PCT used. So let's rewind what we learned in our last video. We learned that, uh, like you know, we have something, you know, let's say like on data store in the data block like this. So, so like you know, when we have a table T and table T has, you know, an, you, you can visualize that uh, we have a block here, and once this block is filled we are going to you know we're going to put in the next block and for the for, for the sake of visualization I'm just putting them you know, stack them together from left to right and this is where my high water mark is here okay and then uh, you know and then I like you know whenever I delete you know data is going to be deleted from this from this block and let's say uh, like you know, if, uh, if I delete some row which maybe affect this block also so the question is and then the next time I'm going to insert uh, you know more rows it can either be inserted in this existing row or it can be inserted into the rows in, into the block that is after the high water mark in that case high water mark is going to shift to our right. and then we have another thing called free list in free list I'm going to keep track of blocks under high water mark which are used wh which can be which are the candidate for further insert okay so now the question is when like you now for example we are inserting to this block when this block is going to be a candidate for, for free list okay and also like if this is the block then the block is going to look like this we have some you know block overhead this is called block overhead and remaining space is for data how much you know like you know, if I want to so if this is a you know this is a this is a block it's empty block and up to how much capacity of the block I can insert okay so essentially PCT free is a parameter that tells how much space should be reserved for future update for example if PCT free is 20 percentage so that means what I'm going to do in a new block 20% you know you know space in the block is left unused so if it's a new block and let's say assume that you know the block size is 8 kilobyte and then I'm going to just make 1 kilobyte for the overhead so that that means I have 7 kilobyte remaining from my block okay so 7 kilobytes 20% is 1.4 kilobyte so that means I'm going to leave 1.4 kilobyte empty you know without you know unused so if I'm going to do insert and then I'm trying to insert to this block I'm going to insert up to 5.7 kb minus 1.4 that is 5.6 kilobyte so 5.6 kilobyte worth of data is going to be you know reside here in this block and 1.4 kilobyte is remain empty and after that so like you know, if you if you look at this block so this block is going to fill up to here okay and after that if I want if I'm still inserting then Oracle is going to allocate another block and let's say that block is now and then you know high watermark is going to shift and the new block allocated is this and now high watermark is pointing to this position again another 5.6 kilobyte worth of data can ins insert can happen and eventually this is going to fill this is going to fill and then high water mark is going to shift again and so on so i hope you understand what is the importance of pct free and then remaining 1.20 percentage you know that means 20 percentage free space should be reserved for further update that means whenever whenever you are going to do an update in that case like you know so let's say for example you have a row here that data is stored here and you want to update and if after the update you want more space then those you know and then that space is going to be allocated from this 1.4 kilobyte okay so now let's say like you know right now we are doing so this is block 1 this is completely filled block 2 is filled block 3 is filled and then we started to delete now okay let's say we are first we are deleting from block 3 okay so as we delete so we delete some more data so therefore you know it's some more space is available so 
as, as, you to, as, as I told you, right, this block is again going to be eligible for insertion. Okay. Another parameter called PCT used. So PCT para PCT used parameter, you know, tells when this block will be candidate for further insert. Let's take an example of PCT uses 40 percentage. So let's say this is a block three, and we are now deleting from block three. So therefore, we are emptying of the the space, right? So we are emptying of space, and then what this 40 percent is telling is that as you empty, like maybe the first time, maybe you are emptying two percentage, three percentage like that, right? So as you keep deleting, so you are emptying, and and this block is still not a candidate for further insert okay and it will be a candidate for further insert when 40 percentage of this block is only used that means we started at 5.6 kilobyte whenever everything whenever this block is completely occupied then after we delete this 5.6 kilobyte is going to you know more space is going to be available let's say after a couple of deletes we have 5 kilobyte then the question is is this block is ready for further insert the answer is no because 40 percentage of 7 kilobyte is 2.8 so as you know you know and then you know whenever i'm going to delete more the finally like if, if i keep deleting from this block it will reach to a state where it is 2.8 kilobyte occupied okay so when this thing 2.8 kilobyte occupied or this block is 40 percentage occupied okay so let's delete some more so basically right now so this is 2.8 kilobyte or 40 percentage then if you want to do insert then this block we can insert to this block okay so that means when we delete oracle will figure out like how much what is the PCT used parameter for that block and if the PCT used parameter for, for that block 40 percentage when like now as we delete this area you know will, will, will generate more free space or less used space when the used space is going to drop below 2.8 kilobyte then this block is going to be come to the free list that means next time I'm going to do insert I can use this block for insertion so therefore this is the PCT free and PCT used concept you can basically depending on what kind of activity you are doing let's say you are doing a lot of updates if you're doing a lot of updates then it is recommended to have a big PCT free okay on the other hand if you are not doing any update okay so if on, on a table you know that's a master table that master table is you know just you know it's very less likely for a uh, change okay so that whatever is going to happen we are going to insert new rows in that case if you are going to have a PCT free which is 20 percentage without any update that means 1.4 kilobyte just going to be remain wasted forever because this area will never be used by anybody else and then it's just going to be remain for update and then we are not going to do any update on that table as we as from our application point of view therefore you know this is a bad PCT free. Maybe you can you can just go for a PCT free for one percentage or two percentage. Okay, so this is what is all the uh, you know things that you should learn about PCT free and PCT used. And then you know this is every table like whenever you are creating the table you have to give these parameters. This is called the storage parameters. You can you can give those two parameters.